Arizona State leads the Pac-12 in tackles for loss, second in sacks. And straight ahead, Travis Dye into Arizona State territory. Finally brought down on the play by Jalen Bates, 23 yards for the freshman Travis Dye. Chance Warmack did a real, Dallas Warmack, Chance's younger brother, did a really nice job on the pull. He had a square shoulder sort of pull initially in case there was any leakage. Quickly on the ball. Again, Travis Dye inside the 20-yard line as the Ducks are gashing Arizona State on this opening drive. Scrimmage, most snaps. Second and goal. Herbert gives to Verdell. Touchdown. C.J. Verdell and Oregon strikes first on the opening drive of the night. George Lee had an opportunity. He's going to slant right through the interior. He's able to get penetration in the backfield across the face of Calvin Throckmorton. But again. The give, sweeping right. Eno Benjamin wedged in behind the line. Lamar Winston, the first man there for Oregon, leading the charge, and then cleaned up by Ugo Chukuamati. As I referenced, by alignment, you can tell ASU believes they'll have a chance for success on the exterior of the Oregon defense. This is a light. Eno Benjamin dancing behind the line, and he's not backward. Gary Baker and Troy Dye for the Ducks, and a tackle for loss. Well, stacking it up at the point of attack, that was Jordan Scott. Herbert play action on second down. Into Arizona State territory, it's Jalen Red for the Ducks. Well, I used the word combustible earlier. So is the right arm of Justin Herbert. This was a howitzer that he threw. Uh, because of the targeting call in the second half last week in their win against UCLA. The screen is C.J. Verdell. Verdell into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. It didn't look like this was a pass he should have scored on because you see all the white jerseys in position to try and rally to the football. Devils, Kyle Williams, the motion man. Pressure coming. Tipped at the line. Troy dies shooting through for Oregon. Herbert to the outside, and it's Jalen Red turning it upfield. Red finds a lane. First down, Oregon to the 35. Verdell the running back. And Verdell through the line. First down, Ducks. Verdell out to the 38. Third down numbers for Oregon. On third and five, Herbert. Launching the deep ball. Mitchell makes the catch. Dylan Mitchell, touchdown, Oregon. 57 yards for the score. Lack of discipline from Kobe Williams in coverage here. He gets no hands on Dylan Mitchell. He wasn't quite ready at the snap, didn't have his body in position. Once the outside release is there. Kyle Williams in motion. Pressure coming for the weak side. And it's nearly intercepted. It was dropped by Drayton Carlberg as Ugo Chukuamati was coming from the blind side at Manny Wilkins. Remember back when Cheeto Awuji did this same thing for Jim Levitt in the Buffs defense. That's the role Ugo Chukwamadi plays for this Ducks defense. As Merlin Robertson was suspended for the first half of this game. Inside screen, Dylan Mitchell breaking a tackle. Mitchell to the outside. Mitchell run out of bounds in Arizona State territory at the 30-yard line. 34 yards on that pass from Herbert to Dylan Mitchell. Chase Lucas fought across the face of the block, anticipating where that total screen would go. Got his body in position, but then couldn't. Herbert fires over the middle with the catch. It's Justin Collins 
and Collins sets up first and goal with his first catch of his Oregon career. Now trying to get a score before halftime as they give it to Jalen Red on the fly sweep, and Jalen Red powers his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. There's 42 seconds when the offense took the field. It took them 31 of those seconds to put six on the board. That's the combustible nature of the Ducks offense. It's been on display most readily here at Austin Stadium. The one last time ASU throws it up top. To Kyle Williams. And he's dropped immediately. Javon Holland, the freshman who's playing at such a high level for this Oregon defense. We're seeing so much east and west from the ASU offense throughout the game. Even the run game has been a lot of east and west. So the pursuit of Oregon's quick move. Wilkins throwing for Ayuk, and it's incomplete. Lenore out there broke up the pass, and it's fourth down. On second and ten. Wilkins play action tipped at the line and broken up as Gary Baker got his hand up there. Wilkins under pressure. Gus Cumberlander coming off the edge. His third sack of the season. Initially, Cumberlander, the penetrator from the interior position. He was trying to set up the looper on the pass rush game, but didn't need it because he got through that gap so quickly. And Manny Wilkins is down. Joe Pisarczyk, the quarterback for the Giants at the time. His son Jake played in the offensive line here a few years ago for the Ducks as Wilkins takes a sack. And it's Cumberlander again for Oregon. His second sack tonight. He had two all season coming in. Penetration and passing on display. Cumberlander gets up the field, retraces, and Manny Wilkins has nowhere to go. That four-man rush, no blitz necessary. The Ducks. Line for Arizona State. Wilkins throws, and it's incomplete. Thomas Graham defending Nikhil Harry, and it's third down and long. And it's a one-score game as Reese with the kickoff. Tony Brooks James from the six. And the senior, Brooks James. Tony Brooks James to midfield and into Arizona State territory. And he's rustled down after a huge return. Stack five for nine on the year. The sophomore from Honolulu. Stack and a field goal gives Oregon an eight point lead with 9.06 to play. From the 25, Benjamin the running back. As Wilkins to throw, and it's broken up by Diamador Lenore. Good coverage on Nikhil Harry by the sophomore Lenore. Exception by Cam Phillips. Wilkins lost the football as the pressure coming from Cumberlander. Lamar Winston also there for Oregon. Ruling on the field. It's a fumble recovered by Oregon. It's another First big down. rush coming from the edge. There's Winston getting home. Cumberlander, Johnny on the spot. They haven't needed a blitz to get there. 